Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be ranking the Monsterverse franchise. So, we're going to be ranking the four films. I'm really excited. Comment down below if you're excited for the new Godzilla v Kong 2 movie. And let's just get started. Also, before we begin, this is just my opinion. I respect your opinion if you disagree. So this is my new ranking. My other rankings were terrible. They were just silly. And um, it felt a bit made up. Well, it felt made up, even in some of it was actually true. But let's just begin the ranking, shall we? Fourth place. Have to give it to Godzilla 2014, which was the first Monsterverse film. Um, only two monsters in the film. Slightly boring. Um, not really monster action packed. Too much Mutos. Would rather have Godzilla more in the film. But you know what? It still gets a pass. Overall, I ranked this a 7 out of 10. In my last tier list, I gave it an F because it was boring. Godzilla didn't come till like 58 minutes and 55 seconds, I'm pretty sure. And, and the scenes at the beginning were just boring to watch. And the dad's death was not deservable since he was a really good actor. And... Um, and um, I miss some of the other characters from the newer films that could have been in this as very young people, and like Madison Russell. Madison Russell could have been in this movie like really young, and in the newer movies, Madison Russell could have been like yeah, you know. So yeah, that's my ranking for Godzilla two thousand fourteen. I respect your opinion if you say this is the best film out of the franchise, but I have to disagree. But um. I must admit, in, to, in the 2014 film, it by far had the best Godzilla appearances. Like, in King of the Monsters, Godzilla just appears in the city out of nowhere. In Godzilla vs. Kong, he does the same thing, and it's obvious to find him since he'll be glowing in the water, which is cool, just not the best entrance. 2014, especially in his first appearance, in, in like the first one hour... You can't barely tell he's there. Well, like, you can, but it's dark. And, like, his, appa his appearance in in um, San Francisco when they're on the Golden Gate Bridge, his spikes are coming from the distance. They stop moving, and then he goes up and destroys the bridge. That was by far the best entrance of Godzilla out of the whole Mon Monsterverse franchise. So, yeah, it does have a few good stuff. The Mutos are pretty cool villains, but by far the worst. Now, um, the way Godzilla killed the Mutos was definitely amazing, how Godzilla just smashed one of them into a building using his tail and blew the atomic breath into another one of them's mouths. Those were by far one of the best deaths in the, in the franchise. And it was really cool how Godzilla just kills the Mutos brutally like that. And Godzilla's victory right, after winning against the female Muto, Muto. Like, it's so funny. Like, the female Muto lasted longer than the male Muto. It should be the other way around. The male Muto was a lot more aggressive than the female. Like, the female, um, like, couldn't handle Godzilla. Male Muto is the reason that she survived longer. Like, like the male Muto just wouldn't let go of Godzilla. If the male Muto didn't exist, Godzilla would win the fight no problem at all. And no hit to the Muto either, even with the Muto's big long legs. It just wouldn't work. Moving on to third place, we've got Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, Godzilla King of the Monsters was really good. It used to be my favourite. But now, like, I, the problem with 2014 was that it had barely any action pack with the monsters. Like, they barely arrived. But the problem with King of the Monsters is that, is that it has too much monsters action packed. Like, I know all of them coming at the same time is epic. It definitely by far has the best fight scene at the end. But um, it doesn't mean it can be the best film. Like, it used to be the best film for me. But it's slightly worse for me now. Like, Godzilla, um, he was definitely amazing in King of the Monsters, like how he was just attacking Ghidorah. The music at the end of the film, with Godzilla trying to kill Ghidorah, but it's not working, was incredible. Like, and it was really sad too. The best move of the whole franchise was when Ghidorah lifted up 
Godzilla. Like, out of every MonsterVerse film, that was the best attack out of literally everything. Like, that was just epic to watch. Like, I give this movie overall an 8 out of 10. But too much monster action pack. I have to agree with that. But it's too action packed. That's the problem. 2014 is not action packed at all, so that's bad. But 2019 is too action packed. I like the sort of medium thing, which is why Godzilla vs. Kong and Kong Skull Island are ranked higher. But don't get me wrong, King the Monster still knows how to be a true masterpiece. But moving on to number two. Number two, it goes to Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, um, I don't like this one as much as my number one placement, but it's still really good. Godzilla um, fighting Mecha Godzilla, yet again, easily one of the best fights ever. Like, Godzilla like um, found it much easier to defeat Mecha than he did to defeat Ghidorah, even though Godzilla wasn't even the one that killed Mecha Godzilla. Godzilla was probably the meanest and the worst in Godzilla vs. Kong because, like, one, he was mean to King Kong and made the girl that uses sign language really upset. And not only did that, but Godzilla didn't even kill Mecha Godzilla. He, like, he didn't even act like he was saving everyone. He was smashing into buildings, possibly killing most citizens. Like, he's nowhere near as nice as King Kong. And since he wasn't even the one that killed it, he wasn't even the one that killed Mecha Godzilla. He doesn't even earn earn the victory. He doesn't even earn the congratulations. Godzilla most likely killed citizens than was even the savior. Kong is like the main savior in Godzilla versus Kong. Come on, and it's um, it's it has the perfect amount of action, like the kaiju's comments separate times. However, Godzilla's Screen time is fairly disappointing compared to King Kong's, I can say that. And yeah, that's all I had to say for Godzilla vs. Kong. Number one is King Kong Skull Island. Like, it may feel a bit disappointing to see that since none of the Godzilla films actually even got number one. But King Kong was actually my first monster vs. film I watched. It's by far the best one. Like, it's so funny, it's not even the classic film, it's the second film from the monster verse it's not the classic but it was the first one i watched and that felt like a classic to me and it still gets number one even though not being the classic by far the best villain yes if you didn't know skullcrawler is my favorite villain and king kong is my favorite savior and the fight scene was easily amazing like how how they just kept falling into the river every minute like the titans, like the monsters in that film. Oh my gosh, I have so much explaining to do with them. By far the best. Like the Godzilla movies focus too much on the main antagonists and protagonists, like monsters, like the main ones. Kong Skull Island comes with many different creatures, many awesome different creatures. It's by far the best. A 10 out of 10. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Godzilla vs. Kong is 9 out of 10, but Kong is 10 out of 10. For sure, in my opinion. Like, the spider, wow. The buffalo, wow. The skull crawlers, wow. The big skull crawler, wow. King Kong, he was much better. That King Kong was much better than the one in 2005. I can tell you that, in my opinion. But, yeah, it's like, it's an awesome movie, in my opinion. And what makes Kong Skull Island so good is the characters. My favourite characters in the whole franchise. I love the girl. I love I love um I love the girl that kind of made made friends with King Kong. And I love all the all the humans as well. They're definitely the funniest group by far. The funniest group actually. It was epic, it was incredible. And Kong it, that's why Kong earns the number one spot. I know, I rank it higher than Godzilla vs. Kong for many reasons. But, yeah. King Kong, I don't like him as much as Godzilla, but he's much nicer. And he actually earns more than Godzilla in fights. Like, I just realized like, Kong has defeated Skullcrawler and Mecha Godzilla, while um, Godzilla has defeated Mutos and King Ghidra. So I, I guess that kind of makes it equal, but... That doesn't stop Skull Island from being the absolute amazing best film. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe and hit the notifications.